Welcome to our three-part series on hyperlipidemia, or as most of us know it, high cholesterol. There are different types of fats or lipids in the body. Cholesterol is a waxy type of fat produced by the liver and we also find it in certain foods. Cholesterol is necessary to produce vitamin D and certain hormones. It also assists in the production of cells. The liver produces a thousand milligrams of cholesterol per day. This is sufficient for daily use. Cholesterol is found on foods from animal sources like eggs, meats and dairy products. Vegetables, fruit and grain have little to no cholesterol. Too much cholesterol is harmful to the body. It has the biggest effect on our blood vessels. Because cholesterol cannot travel alone in the bloodstream, it needs a way of transportation. It combines with certain proteins that act like trucks picking up the cholesterol and transporting it to the different parts of the body. This cholesterol protein combination is called a lipoprotein. There are two types of lipoprotein. High density lipoprotein or HDL that is known as the good cholesterol and low density lipoprotein or LDL that is better known as the bad cholesterol. Most cholesterol is LDL cholesterol. LDL is the cholesterol that tends to clog up the blood vessels, while the HDL on the other hand breaks down the clocks and carries the cholesterol back to the liver. When there is too much cholesterol in the bloodstream, it gets deposited anywhere in the bloodstream where it starts building up a plague. This plague restricts and prevents blood flow, causing impaired oxygen delivery, strokes and heart attacks. High cholesterol has generally no symptoms and screening is done through a simple finger prick blood test. This blood test measures your levels of cholesterol in your blood. Healthy adults should be screened once every five years starting at age 20. If you have a family history of high cholesterol, you may need earlier or more frequent screening. The Heart Foundation recommends that your total cholesterol reading should be below 5 millimoles per litre. The value for HDL, remember that's the good cholesterol, should be bigger than 1.2 millimoles per litre. And the value for LDL, that's the bad cholesterol, should be less than 3 millimoles per litre. A cholesterol reading bigger than 7 millimoles per litre could indicate a need for medication and certain requires a visit to a doctor. If the results are abnormal, you are referred back to doctor for a possible lipogram or fat profile. If we look at causes of high cholesterol, it comes mainly from overweight, excess weight has been associated with high cholesterol, heredity, if cholesterol problems or heart disease run in your family, you are at a higher risk for having problems, diet, remember you are what you eat, avoid foods high in saturated fats and trans fats, Start looking at labels on food packages and choose the product with less fat in it. Age. The risk of high cholesterol increases as you get older.